Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an iPod Touch wallpaper or iPhone wallpaper sort of like this that I found on this website for iPod wallpapers. Um, we're going to make a background and we're going to make um, a logo but sort of like a transparent drop shadow thing. So first you want to go to Google type in iPod Touch wallpapers and just find one that we can use just for a template um, so that we can get the right size and dimensions for it. So just get an image, drag it to your desktop, and it should be okay. Um, now let's open up Photoshop and we're gonna get that image that we just got from the internet and drag it into Photoshop and hold on. Alright, now we have the dimensions for the image. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and alt double click to unlock it, make a new layer, and now you can just delete that one because we don't really need it anymore. Alright, now we're going to uh, make a... Um, or you, before we make the background, uh, you can either make it or you can get something from the internet. Uh, you can just type in desktop backgrounds um, or just go to images and type in abstract and find something you like or you can just get whatever you want but I'm gonna be using one that I already have on my computer so we're gonna go ahead and file place and choose your image alright now you can just place it on the canvas uh, to your liking uh, alright like this hit enter and it should stay like that and by the way these lines I don't know how they got here I'm not sure how to get them off so whatever alright now make a new layer and now you're gonna wanna get, you wanna get your logo so I chose an app logo uh, what we're gonna have to do uh, is go to Google and type in uh, transparent apple logo and it can be whatever you want. You can even make it in Photoshop, right? You want to get a transparent PNG file with no background, and then you just want to drag it to your computer. And now, uh, with the new layer you created, uh, go to File, Place, and select it. And we're just going to leave it at that. And these things here, uh, we're going to erase it and just have like a transparent thing. So to do that, right click on it, go to blending options, and let me just put this over here. Alright, go to, um, go to drop shadow, and make sure you make this to multiple, normal, I mean, alright, normal, and then you can adjust the angle where the drop shadow, uh, we're gonna have it like that, and just a little more like that. Alright, and the opacity, we're going to have that all the way, and now we're going to get an inner um, inner glow or shadow, and we're going to make that normal and white, and you can adjust the opacity later, um, alright, so hit OK, now to erase everything and just keep like the transparent window thing, go to the fill and put it all the way to zero. Now you can see we have a really cool effect here and always you can go back into the blending options and change your drop shadow, your inner shadow to maybe less. I'm gonna leave it like that and hit OK. Oh and before we go on let's go back there and save the style. Go to styles and new style and call, I'm just going to call it crystal and make sure you have these checked so it'll include all the effects and stuff alright, ok 
and now you can see it here hit OK now you have it saved to your computer and you can apply it to anything you want so now we're just gonna add some text so make a new layer and click on the text icon and just make some text OK and press Control T to resize the text enter and then you should move it on top of here and move the Apple logo just a little higher um, just so that when you're on your iPod you can see the slide to unlock here and this will be on top of that now we want to select our um, text layer right click and go to blending options and we're going to apply the same style that we did to the Apple here so go to styles up here and this is the reason we made this for just click on here and now the text should look like that but we want to lower the inner shadow just a little bit so you can see more transparent effect there alright hit ok and there you go you have your nice background like that but we're gonna um, make one so go ahead and make click here and make a new layer on top of that and don't delete this yet right now um, we're gonna make a square or rectangle hit enter and now you can delete that just hit delete alright we're gonna right click blending options and uh, let's do a color overlay uh, choose a color that you like I'm just gonna choose sort of like a darkish greenish that's uh, too light sort of like that hit ok now we're gonna add an inner shadow and again this can look however you want it to this is just, just me alright normal um, size I'm always having trouble with the angles um, opacity just a little more or an inner glow does not have that so yeah let's go back to the inner shadow I'm just trying to get the angle right because I only want it from this side distance alright looks like we have it here size I'm just gonna have it like this and lower this just a little bit alright okay now we're gonna click here or on top of here make a new layer on top of that and we're gonna add some brushes um, let's see what I have on my computer I'll just use this alright so we're gonna just click here maybe not that much just a little bit alright now let's add some pretty cool effects to the brushes so we'll go to blending options and we're gonna add like a 3D-ish looking thing go to level and emboss and if you think that's too much just lower the depth all the way and that looks pretty cool kinda 3D-ish but not too much alright and you can either do a color overlay for just one color to change it or gradient overlay for more than one color on the brush I'm gonna just have it at blue and black okay that looks pretty nice I guess and you know you can add anything else you want you can even do the styles and apply the crystal thing effect to those but that looks really weird so just um, do that crap I can't do it so yeah I'm just gonna leave it at this right now and I'll just go ahead and file save as and PNG JPEG whatever and then just uh, sync it to your iPod through iTunes and whatever and there you go Alright, so if you like this tutorial, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye.